lakini lazima ni ulize jo hii hii scholarship hii scholarship yako political science yeah. was it because of your dad like mtu aliona jina yako alafu kuna jina ya budaka na 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 eh. so so najo we have uh, 844 which is now cbc yeah. uh, and then those were british system schools the american indian whatever mm, so i mm. was in a british system one yeah. so form 4 is called the 11 mm, mm. so kimaliza form 4 you have to do 5 and 6 Mm. That's like pre-college. Yeah, yeah pre-university. Mm. So that if you go to the UK you instead of doing four years you do three. Mm. Mm. So that's where I was meant to go. Mm. But I didn't want I didn't want that time I was prime minister. I didn't want anything to do with him politics all these things. Mm. Mm. So I I applied to America. Oh okay. And uh, this was the school that gave me a scholarship. Mm. So I get there settle in everything is fine mm. then like a month later my parents come to see me yeah so he's still the prime minister <laughs> <laughs> so the day before this uh, secret service they come to the dorm mm. yeah actually they're checking the dorm just rubbish yeah then the next day he comes in that convoy mm. and he sees me they see me they bounce mm. so monday I was called to the president of the university yeah. what do you call the vice chair yeah yeah and they're like why didn't you tell me like the, my recruiter was like why didn't you ever say that this is what your dad did i was like i thought you knew mm-hmm. i didn't know it was a secret mm-hmm. so kido we go for parties you know college parties so i'm with my friends some other kenyan girls mm-hmm. and these uh, american girl this one girl she runs up and she uh, so i'm standing here my friend is next to me Mm. So she goes to my friend she's like oh my god are you the african princess <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. now the story had gone around that that convoy belongs to some african king The king of zamunda <laughs> yeah. king of zamunda <laughs> I was like yeah she's the princess yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah so yeah that's I just I just went yeah Oh so okay that, that's, that's super interesting so like If a prime minister is there, uh, the secret service is the one that provide the security. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If oh. a sitting uh, head of state or head of government mm. goes to another country, mm. if anything happens to that person, yeah. You you declare war. Mm. Like if you mm. look even in history like this, I'm gonna sound like my pops. But if you look mm. in history like uh, mm. the first world war, mm. there was this archduke uh, Franz Ferdinand, he was driving through somewhere and he was shot. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And that's what started the first world war. Oh. So it's, you have to Yeah, but he, here Kenya I think they just do it out of respect because mm. like in the US mm, we really, really start war with the US like you know I see not to apologize. Yeah, you understand like Yeah, I get you. Man. Eh Africa tumekuwa tumelalia masikio sana. Yes, so sana. kuna ile level ya ndi. Yeah, so eh hey, yeah, so degrees mbili. Okay mm-hmm. so niko nafikiri you ended up sakaja in the degree no, no, no. I have three man my last one is a, a masters yeah. I did here at USAU Oh yeah I have three Oh about so of the two which one are you more passionate about the political science side or my communication Uh both so political science like I didn't study it now Yeah It's just you know my I've been working with my dad eight years or something yeah so yeah. he's the teacher They're like that's the school of hard knocks mm. yeah <laughs> that's where I've learned politics and mm. I like history mm. Mm. but the one that I apply day to day in my job is uh, comms yeah yeah oh okay yeah. you see guys right you know we need to yeah. I should hire professionals yeah yeah so and so should be uh. in comms or whatever mm. Mm. Uh, but does he have a degree in comms because mm. i do <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. so well yeah, yeah i think yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> i think nile ile element ya uh, if your dad is that guy yeah. there's always going to be like to yeah? uh, people feel like it's been handed to you i take yeah. it uh, well, that. you know if it was handed to me why not handed to one of my siblings no um, um. or uh, whatever you know like this is a struggle that's been there before even Raila Odinga was born mm, talk mm. about Jaramogi yeah and it will be there after Raila Odinga is no longer there mm, this family mm. is still going to do the same thing still working for the betterment of Kenya we're still going to do it mm, and mm. Uh, if you're qualified also when i came back you know mm. jubilee had just taken over yeah yeah uh, no one was hiring me 
Mm. <laughs> oh, my cause... father and I was in the prime minister. They were like, Odinga, no way. No mm. job. Yeah, yeah. I tarmacked for like two years. Oh, we're yeah. going to apply a job? Yeah, oh, like crazy. Damn. Uh, I couldn't get you work interest. anywhere. Yeah, I couldn't tell you to get future favors. Like, I'm going to get a job. But I'm going to get a job for that. <laughs> See, 2013, I said, I'm going to get He's done. He's finished. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. People left, everybody left, fair weather friends. Mm, mm. So it was, yeah, I came back, you know, I was just looking at them. I was like, hey, mm, mm. you know, Yanni, the confidence, everything was just low. Mm, mm. And I was like, nah, 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 let me just help out here, help out here. Yeah. Um, But now, another thing would be uh, CV. Because mm. that's what I was going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Alafu sasa yule alikuwa ameandika unataka kulipa huko mtu na exposure. Na tiki sasa itakuwa like siwezi siwezi kulipa na exposure, siwezi kuweka like I'm going to give you six month in a year, six month internship. Mm-hmm. So I feel like the name can also be intimidating in its in its own way. Perhaps but like uh, me all my siblings had to go through that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When junior he studied finance. Yeah. So he was a banker. Mhm. And he came, he was put in some bank in town. Yeah. I don't know what he did to the boss. He was now put on night shift, clearing yeah. checks at <laughs> night. Yeah. And so that's the thing. You, we were told, like, that's what you have to do it. Mm. So even if I didn't do it, my siblings would have been like, how come yeah, she's yeah. not uh, yeah. whatever? Mm. Yeah. But that was my first job. I was teaching some Chinese students in how to speak English. Oh, oh. Yeah. you know Maju I'm here. Ah, Maju. Oh, okay. <laughs> not okay. Maju. It's says the work. It's not much better but Yeah. Um then I also taught myself how to take photos. Mm. Yeah. So I took photos. I used to borrow a camera mm. from a friend. I take photos. Then I'd ask I'd post on Facebook. Mm. Then some people be like, "Can you take my photos? I'll pay you mm. a mm. little bit of money." Mm. I take I did that till I got enough money i bought my own camera mm. in fact you know what my pops did he came to america mm. he's like i need to go to a camera shop mm. so me i'm thinking as in <laughs> he's hard as in i'm a really good photographer <laughs> <laughs> and he tells me call junior what's that camera he wanted <laughs> so he buys junior this after i've struggled to buy this camera i think it was even used he buys his junior this brand new camera <laughs> At junior is the creative. I'm like since this is a banker man. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, I did that. I took photos. I came to Kenya. I took photo, photos. Some photos I've sold all over the world. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Even my uh, senior project was a, a photo book about oh. uh, it was called Jumaine mm. about Kenyan workers work here. Mm. Uh, fishmonger, lady cleaning fish, things like that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, but his story junior and jazz and junior alikuwa na work night shift as well gonna took a home sang junior worked yeah, yeah you'd leave at like 4 pm yeah and then come back the next day at what time 7 7 am yeah yeah wow he is uh, strong every night in town yeah. he's strong cuz meaning he got to asleep do you know who my dad is <laughs> i think i'd be spoiled kidogo <laughs> he just took it like but you know the, you know the thing about saying that or even thinking that eh yeah No one respects you. Yeah, I know. I yeah. know. I know. I know. Like uh you say that but no one takes you serious if you say yeah, that. Yeah, if yeah, you think I know. that. And then uh, also you're flossing with something that's not even yours. Uh, yeah, not. I know your dad is but mm. you yeah, yeah who are I'm you? now fighting you and I. Who mm. are you, you know? Mm, mm. So plus like una mtoto ku remain like by the time your dad was this age he done one, two, three. Where See, that's the story of all pups, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He used to walk to 15 kilometers to school. <laughs> yeah, every, every parent says those hardship stories. Yeah. yeah. Well, so your dad used to give you those. But your dad was like also uh, a bab in his own right. Like I, I think he, like your dad alijichagulia tu shi dad. Alikuwa tu na heshima isha. Angekuwa tu bab, atulie. No, he wasn't a bab. Yeah. It's just that his father was, you know, Jaramogi was a teacher. Mm-hmm.